Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Guys, welcome to my channel Lekom Mohammed. It has been long that I am back Today's topic is covariance I would, like to, uh, I would like to show you how to calculate covariance of a portfolio Here on the board I am having a simple illustration of which I would like to illustrate how to calculate covariance of a, covariance of a portfolio uh, The question goes that the following the returns of two companies X and Y are as follows. Remember we have the state of the economy, we have boom, normal and recession. We have the probability 0 0.4, 0 0.5 and 0 0.1. We have the returns of X 12%, 10%, 14%. The return of Y 15%, 16% and 8%. Required covariance of security X and Y. Remember that uh, covariance, covariance of x, y is equal to, this is the formula of how to get covariance of a portfolio. You take the return of x, summation of, you have to get the summation of, return of x minus the expected return of x, this you must apply with the return of y, minus the expected return of y then you multiply with the probability you multiply with the probability remember covariant x y this represent covariance covariance x and y then r x this is return this is return on security x this is return on security x r y this is return the return on security y then e r x this is the expected return on x expected return on x e r y this is expected expected return on y now it means we need to calculate the expected return and for us to calculate to, to calculate the expected return we are going to take the probability we are going to multiply with the, the return for example let's first calculate the expected return expected return of x of which we this one we take the return of this is the formula is Summation of return of x times the probability. Remember, when the return of x is 12, the probability is 0 0.4. So we multiply with that. Then you add, when the return is 10, the probability is 0 0.5. Next, when the return is 14, the probability is 0 0.1. So me, I've already worked out. So if you work out, you are going to get 11.2%. 11.2%. If you work out, you, you will be able to get 11.2%. Let's get the expected return of Y, of which we take the summation of return of Y multiply with, with the probability. So the return of Y, we have 15, 15 times the probability of 0.4, you add 16, multiply with the probability of 0 0.5, then add 8 with the probability of 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So if you work out, you are going to get 15 by, by 0.4 plus 16 by 0.5 plus 8 times 0.1, we'll be able to get 14.8%. Now we already have the expected return. Now we can apply the formula of the covariance of which we said uh, covariance is equal to the summation of we take the return of x subtract from the expected return of x multiply with the return of y subtract the expected return of y then multiply with the probability. So we are going to have the we are going to have the state of economy we are going to have the state of economy. We are going to have boom, normal, and recession. That's how we are going. How that's how we are going to calculate the covariance. So let's have the state, 
the state of economy. So we have boom. We have the normal. Then we have the recession. We have the recession. So we are going to apply this formula. If we start with here, the return of x is 12. We take 12, subtract the expected return of x, which was 11.2. Sorry. This is supposed to be written on the boom side. This We have the state of the economy. Then here we have the covariance. So when it is boom, remember, when it is boom, the return on x is 12, the return of y is 15. So we take the return of x, which is 12, subtract from the expected return of x, which is 11.2. This you multiply with the return of y, when it is boom, it is 15. Subtract it from the expected return of y, which is 14.8. Then, you multiply with the probability. The boom probability is 0 0.4. So if you, don't, if you work out, you're able to get 12 minus 11.2 times 15 minus 14.8 times 0.4, you're able to get 0 0.064. If you work out, you're able to get that. Let's go to normal, when the economy is normal. When the economy is normal, the return of x is 10, and the return of y is 16. Let's start with x. The return of x is 10. Take away 11.2, which is the expected return on x. Then take the return on y, which is 16. Subtract it from 14.8. Then the probability, when it is normal, it is 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So if you take 10 minus 11.2 times 16 minus 14.8, times 0 0.5, you're able to get negative, negative 0 0.72. Lastly, when the economy is recession, when the economy is recession, the return on x is 14 and the return of y is 8. Let's start with x. You take 14, subtract 11.2, then this multiply with the return of y, which is 8, subtract it from 14.8, into this, multiply with the probability, which is 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So if you take 14 minus 11.2 times 8 minus 14.8 times 0 0.1, you're able to get negative 1 1.9, 1.904. So for us to get the covariance, you're going to add 0 0.064 plus minus 0 0.72 plus minus 1.94. If you add, you're able to get negative 2.56 our covariance between x y is equal to negative 2.56 that is our covariance of x and y if you are told to advise if we are to told advice we could have said uh, if you are told to advise you can say the investor can easily diversify the risk in the portfolio between x and y since they have a negative relationship. Remember, we have negative relationship of a portfolio and positive relationship of a portfolio. So if it is negative, it means you can di diversify the, the portfolio. That's how you can advise this investor. So that's all about uh, this short illustration about the covariance. Remember, for you to get the covariance, you need first to get the expected return. In which we say that for you to get the expected return, you take the return of x, or if it is y, then multiply with the probability. After you get the return, after you get the expected return, then you apply the formula of covariance, which is equal to the return of x subtract from the expected return of x of x, multiply with the return of y minus the expected return of y, then multiply with the probability. Hope to see you in the next class when we are going to do correlation coefficient. Remember. Correlation coefficient. We are going to do it in our next class, still under this illustration. So, hoping to see you in the next class where we are going to do correlation coefficient.